Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars The Last Jedi set review, and this one is on the First Order Heavy Assault Walker. So on the front of the, this box here, you see the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, Disney logo, all the mini things that there are. My recommended ages is 9 to 14, set number 75189, and has 1,376 pieces. And flip it to the back. You see it in action again. All the features and Lego.com slash Star Wars and yeah. And on to the booklet. On the front of the booklet, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And also to mention that in the like really thick book style. Just like what's a couple of the, like the ideas line and whatnot is. So this is kind of a good way to go. And yeah. And get all the pieces that come with the set. Add for all the first wave of Last Jedi sets and all the me figs that there are. And the last building itself and whatnot. So first of which for the main thing would have to be the new Last Jedi version of Rey. So I see that this torso print is kind of accurate to the uh, closing out part of the Force Awakens. And uh, also the like arms of which in the like a uh, yellowish tan color, which is kind of odd, but whatever. And also, what's kind of interesting is the lightsabers starting to look quite more silver, like they kind of did back in the day, which is kind of cool. Nice to see some return and whatnot. And also the like hair piece, kind of close to the film. And there's her uh, back printing and double side thing. And also, as a brief comparison, is with the Ray buildable figure set. You can see it has like great legs, unlike the brown and silver lightsaber hilt still, and also all the like uh, wrappings and stuff. Just like so. And also, hairstyles also the same. And then, yeah. And continuing on with the mini things. So you also get a resistance trooper with this, which is all just about the same with the flippable helmet and whatnot, like you got in the Force Awakens line. And there he is from the back, but no double side face. And then a new version of Poe Dameron, but with a with the leather jacket and brown pants, but the like hair piece and face print, uh, both kinds of face prints. Because they're all just about the same as in most of the Force Awakens sets. And also has a very slight back printing. And then also to get out of the way is First Order Stormtrooper. Just about generic as they can get. Just front torso print, back torso print, and angry claw face, etc. But, you know, always nice to get for army building. And then, last but not least, the uh, Walker Pilot. So, kind of similar to the at at Walker Pilots. And also, the helmet, kind of similar to the, like, Flame Troopers or Snow Troopers ones, but, like, with the little ports on them. And also, a small pistol there. But it has some nice front torso printing and 
Angry Clown Face once again. And there he is from the back. And now to the set itself. Da -da 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 and this thing just tall and massive. So let's start out from the ground up, like always. So the back feet, which just about kind of like similar to the normal at ats of the bass, like with pivoting and whatnot. And hold on a second. And the uh, front feet, which are kind of oddly placed like back. It looks like they're kind of put backwards, but so I don't understand that. Like, can someone, can you like tell that in the comments about why it's like that? And moving on up. Well, the front legs, which have some like slope pieces added to it, and also a couple piston, bendable pistons up here. So it's kind of symmetric that they are, but the back legs kind of similar to former at ats. And there's gonna be some handheld movements around here. So that's shaping and whatnot, kind of like the at ats, but a little bit more like curved and whatnot. So, and also these little things can like flip on down. Or if you flipping things, out. like you can take out this crate, and you get some extra ammunition for the multi stud shooter. And how you put it on is you connect it to those studs on there, and flip it back in. And on the other side, it does kind of the same thing, but with like some more red studs you know for the stud shooter up top and whatnot and on both sides it has a lot of flipping open kind of parts like have the like collectible minifig tile pieces for the minifigs to stand on and whatnot which is kind of cool quite cool and from the back oh, you see some like some like canisters of some kind, but unfortunately you can't drop the can't like drop them to be like bombs and stuff. You just gotta take them off yourself. Wait, hold on, just a sec. And one of the things that kind of lacks in is symmetricality, like has about one of these like curvy pieces when on the other side it just doesn't. This, can someone explain that in the comments below? And, but also up top is a multi stud shooter and what that little gear on the back there is for is when you push down on, or push down up on it, it raises the sh shooter. And what you can like turn it and it shoots there, which kind of a cool feature. Don't think we've seen that in Lego before. And the neck of it, similar to the former at ats, and the front part of it, which does open up like so. And as you can see, but holding the mini fig in is. A complete lack of studs. It's just flat tiles on there. And of course, to hold a minifig in, it needs studs to do that. We, re I really don't understand why they did that. And also, not at all any control panel on this one. And also have a couple like things dangling from the sides and also flick fire or I mean shoot or bleh, the uh, uh, spring loaded launchers to them and a couple of little things to the sides. And now on to with a little comparison.
person right here with the at at from 2014. So as you can see, pretty similar in design and whatnot, but like back legs of it are kind of similar, to, or back feet kind of similar to the main feet. And also spring load launchers in the front, in the front headpiece. And whatnot. And also same kind of things. But also this other one also opens up a little differently. But also on the track door feature. Whereas this one kinda doesn't, but little shooter in the top of it. But also darker gray compared to light gray. But at least, you know, always nice to see some like change in the colors and design and whatnot. And so now, let me like get everything together and we'll call it final verdict. And so now, on to the final verdict. Is overall pretty cool set it is. Although it may kind of does improve a bit of the former at ats and whatnot, but also but at least for the like it for the sequel trilogy and whatnot. And if you got the money to like buy this, then go ahead and buy it. And that is it with this video. Please subscribe and like and comment. And thanks for watching.